Buongiorno a tutti quanti. Io sono Riccardo. This is Cooking with Rick, um, uh, you know, stories about food. I'm actually, I'm actually, I am in Rome. And I said, wow, this is a trip. I mean, this is the greatest place for food, uh, Italian food. I mean, this is, this is it. Uh, last night I ate in the original uh, Alfredo's. Alfredo, who makes, uh, uh, fettuccine Alfredo, the best. And this place has been around since 1914. <laughs> and they've been making fettuccine Alfredo forever. Fabulous. Uh, anyhow, so I said, what am I going to do? Well, Rome is the place for Italian food, you know, and they make uh, spaghetti carbonara. <sighs> wow, it, that's. That's another trip and a half. So I'm going to do, uh, let me do this one. And from there, uh, probably when everybody else is out gallivanting, they come back and they're going to be hungry. I'm going to do something. I bought some broccoli rob in the supermarket. You know, kind of cool, right? Uh, I got that. And I did pick up some, uh, some of the spaghetti, uh, packaged spaghetti from, from Italy. And, and I, I got this... Uh, it's not, it's, a, it's pork, uh, the pork cheek. Um, Gugliani, oh. <laughs> anyhow. Uh, so I got this, uh, it's almost like a pancetta, it's a bacon, it's the pork cheek, and it's just, oh, it's fabulous. Um, so I have that, and I have the cheese, the uh, uh, Pecorino Romano, so we have that, and I have some eggs. So we're gonna do uh, spaghetti carbonara. I mean, it's, first thing you wanna do um, is you got this, you want to cut it, all right? And you know, I have all makeshift stuff here. Uh, I'm using their equipment. So, hey, what are you gonna do? So I'm, I'm cutting this up, right? What you want to do with, is this, is just cut it. Oh, you hear the, the, the sirens in the background? Wow, uh, this apartment is fabulous. I mean, it, we're right by the water. I mean, it's just, everything is cool. It is life and whatnot. This is what you do. You know, um, a hotel is going to come after me. But you go, if you go on a, a trip somewhere, try to rent an apartment. People rent out apartments and, you know, and wow, it's like living there. It's like living, you know, when you're in a hotel, you, you know, you, you know, everybody's taking care of you, which is not a bad idea. I mean, you know what I mean? They make your beds and all this. But when you rent an apartment, it's like moving into somebody's place. And, and you know, and you make good with what they have. The, the great thing about this is uh, it, the back window in the kitchen, I don't know if you can see it, people actually have clotheslines that run from one building to the other, and they got clothes, that's why some of the sheets are hanging down there. I mean, that's, that's, this is, that's fabulous, right? Uh, but well, I tell you, uh, we did do the tour of the Vatican, and... and Oh well, we you know we'll we'll get to see you know the the, the uh, Colosseum and, and you know and uh, unbelievable. It's just it's just so great. So what I'm doing is is cutting up this. It, they call it conchali. All right, I'm cutting this up and I'm going to put it in a uh, a frying pan. All right, and uh, I'm sticking it in a frying pan. But actually, you're not going to put oil or butter with it. I think you use about four or five ingredients. I'm really not, you know, I, I'm, yeah, I think so, right? So what I'm doing is I have some water here and I just wipe this off, right? All right. Now, what I'll, and I do have a, a pot here that I'm gonna uh, get this stuff to boil and we'll put the spaghetti into that. Uh, this is a fast, quick meal, but it's one of the, the, the staples of uh, Rome, but, all right? So first thing I wanna do is I wanna light this, uh, the stove. All right, they're gas. They use gas, all right? No electric. So what I have is this con Charlie, which I, I've cut up. I'm gonna put a bunch of it in here, all right? Now, no butter, no oil. What we're gonna do is make it with this and it's gonna cook up and then we'll get, uh, get the flavor of it, all right? You can use bacon, you can use uh, pancetta. Uh, like I said, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't like the way the pancetta was. It was cut my little too thin, you know. I want to get some chunks of this in here, all right? So here we go. We just, 
again, cut some pieces. All right, and you stick them in here. You get this, you know, you can get it at your, your, your butcher. And oh, the first thing you want to do is they want to start cutting off the fat. You don't want them to do that. You want the fat. So actually what I'm going to do is use this whole piece. If you want to go and travel, you have to make your reservations really far in advance. You know, that would be a trick to do. And, uh, and like I said, try to get yourself an apartment. And it's, it's really experience living here. I mean, I mean we, we, we made it uh, a whole bunch of places. The, the Vatican was like, oh, it's unbelievable. And the, 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 the Sistine Chapel, uh, well, Michelangelo did his paintings, oh, fabulous, you know. You know, this story was that he went on his back and he did all those, those portraits, and uh, it was just very good. I mean, he just, wow. But I think he must have had a lot of doubles, man. For all that, I mean, that's a lot of work that he did. Unbelievable. And then we saw things from Raphael, and, and then they were all, we walked through there and there were just all different uh, pictures of, from famous artists. People just donated it to the Vatican, you know. There's some Picasso stuff there. Uh, so, you know, uh, Maltese. I mean, they, they were all there, all the, all the famous art. I mean, you, you're kind of like walking and you go, oh, uh, I just passed the Picasso. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait who, who's this guy? Oh, yeah. All of the, all the famous artists are there. So it's just, just like, Wow, uh, there's some famous things that are out there. Some famous artists and some great work. It's fun. Do it. Uh, anyway, so I think setup. This kitchen is, you know, it's an apartment living. All right, you know, it's it's not gigantic kitchen. It's not like my VFW place, but it's it, it's home. So what we got is that that starting to go here, right? Uh, we need to start the. Spaghetti. I'm gonna boil that. Just when it's about ready to it's boil, then I'll throw in some salt. Uh, you put a lot of salt into it. All right. Starting to work up a bit. All right. Well, that's uh, that's cooking up there. I'm gonna put a piece of garlic in there. Um, just just the whole clove itself, you know, and just to, to give it a little bit more flavor. So I probably will do two of them. Uh, two, uh, yeah, a couple of cloves, right? I stick them in. Oh, with the skin on it, all right. Uh, you can. Uh, I don't know if it's going to do that. Well, you can. You can break them and put it in there so it the flavor goes. We got a couple of the garlic pieces in there, all right. And wow, this is garlic. It smells like garlic, and it is garlic. I mean, it's like what garlic should sometimes smell. You know, just throw it in. You want it to. A lot of times, you know, you, when you do uh, your cooking, try to get yourself to the markets. And you get the, the vegetables that are really good, all right? So I just threw like uh, three pieces in there. I guess three or four, I don't know. Yeah. And now uh, that's, that's going cooking here, all right? So now you can get an idea of actually how, it, how it's done to look, all right? And I got the... Uh... Okay, this looks like it's going pretty good. So I'm going to turn the flame off this right now, all right? And uh, look in here and it looks like the water's boiling so first thing we want to do is we want to put some salt in here and I got to grind it up you don't want to put any salt into here because that you know the uh, the, the pork cheek over there it, it's the uh, pretty salt has some salt to it so we don't want to do that what a pasta it's being bland even though it's it you know it comes it's coming from Rome it's still uh, a little it, it doesn't have that much flavor all right so we want to open up this here uh, interesting package, right? This is spaghetti, which we're doing. All right. So we take the spaghetti, and you know the trick with spaghetti. You take it, and you hold it in the middle, like that, like this here, and <laughs> push them all in, right? You hold it tight, and what you want to do is you want to twist it as it goes in. So it, it kind of like uh, it doesn't really st it stick together. You know, because in the no-no is oil. You know, you don't want to put oil in this. And we're not doing with anything with oil here at all, right? Uh, I do have a sink there, which we'll go in and look at that. Now, so this will go here. This will take probably about nine minutes. So what we'll do is probably do it for about like six minutes. Um, 
I don't know. They, there is a timer here someplace. I don't know. We'll, well, we'll check that out. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. All right, we want to do some pepper. All right. Uh, there's a whole different ways of doing it. I don't, I, know, I don't think I have a... These are actual pepper corns. All right. So what we want to do is we want to crack them up. Throw them into the bowl. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, crush them up. I have uh, some more like that. I what you want to do, the, the, the great thing about doing videos like this is you, you make make do with what you got, all right? Because I got out of years and years ago, nobody had, had all this, all this stuff. So what I'm going to try to do is is bang them in here and crack them. But uh, I have one of these here, and I did uh, crush up a little bit of the pepper in here to this, so that's that'll work. And what we'll do is, uh, I like this. I <laughs> all right. So we got this going in here, right? Why don't we just take some of the uh, out? And what we want to do is we want to put it in here, right? Uh, we have a little bit of the water of that, and we start mixing it and see what what goes, right? Up again, and this will kind of make the uh, this will make the the pasta liquid, right? We're doing it. That's all like starchy water and stuff like that. So that's gonna, you know. So we're kind of mixing it up. Right? What we want to do then is just keep mixing this up, and then we're gonna let it sit by itself, so it's kind of like cooled down, and then we'll have to add the egg into it. But the, you know, you don't want to put the egg in now because scramble eggs in the morning. <laughs> you don't want them with your macaroni. I don't. I don't think so. All right, so I'm kind of pulling it out. Right. Do a trick too. Uh, I have this here, so I'm going to take some of the, the water and I'll put it into it the pepper, and we'll just dump it into this. See how that works out. Right? Up a wooden spoon now and work it so. Here, then we'll uh, set it on the uh, on the stove where that had um, not been lit. And we're going to do the eggs. We're going to have to beat up some eggs. All right. So you got to add the Pecorino Romano. All right, we haven't put any salt in here. Uh, Pecorino Romano is, is saltier. All right. So we just keep keep doing this and stir it. We're going to do something that's really interesting. This is It's pretty hot. So we're going to put it into this bowl here. So that will cool it down a little bit faster. All right. And it turns out that they have a, a metal bowl here. That, see, that should be pretty good, right? Get the cheese right out of the way. Now, just start putting it into that bowl, huh? and then we'll put, we just kind of mix it up. Huh? Bowls here, let me turn the, the flame off. Now, we put some more of the liquid. Now, let's see what's happening here. There's no egg in here yet, and uh, and then there's no Pecorino Romano, but it's it looks like it's, it's, it's come together. It seems it could be cooling down a bit. Huh? Yeah, I could set it here and let it cool. The thing now we want to do is beat some eggs. All right. I got... Look at the size of these eggs. It's brown eggs. So brown eggs are the best because you can automatically see when, when the shells are in there, right? So we got, now let's just, let's just beat it up. I mean, really whip it up. I got two eggs. Um, I think two is enough. I could good beat to it. You don't have to put uh, salt in there or the cheese in it. You'll put the cheese at the end. Just let's let's just whip it up. This guy is not um, hot. It's it's kind of got a little bit warm, but it's it's not bad. Um, I mean, otherwise, when you put it in hot, it'll just like oh, forget about it, right? So we got this, all right? And we'll stick some of this in here, and we'll see what happens. Uh, a little bit. I'll just put a little. Let's get a fridge. <laughs> I'm gonna. It's gonna turn into a an omelet. <laughs> so I hope not. You know. Again, working with the tools you have, all right? All right, it looked pretty good. I'm mixing it up, so we put a little bit more. And I do have the cheese, which I'm gonna put a little bit in there too. Let's mix it up again. Just keep doing it like that to mix it. And see, it's not, it's not turning into, an, into an, an omelet. So there, we're looking better. Put some uh, Pecorino Romano. Now, as I do, you know, I mean, I mean, nobody opens a <laughs> platter like that, right? That's how you got to open it. I don't, I'm, what do I, I want to smell this. Oh, wow. That's, it's, that's really fresh cheese, okay. A little more of the egg in here. 
Now, I only did two, two eggs. Uh, you could probably do more, but nah, we don't want to do that. Up, right? All right, let's throw some of the cheese in here now. Actually, you see some of these garlics that's in here? We want to get rid of this one. We just kind of dumped some of that garlic. You can, you know, probably it would have been better I dumped it before, but hey, I do what I do. I don't know. So, it was like four pieces, right? So, make sure you remember. I mean, garlic is great, but one of the, the worst things is taking a, a, a bite out of a garlic and not knowing it's going to be garlic, right? This will help you. Mixing it up. There we go. I look pretty good. Yeah, it's mixing up really good. I think we got it. What I'm going to do is just put a little bit into, uh, into one of these little bowls and try some. Not, you know, just a little. We have this wine, so we're going to put some in the wine here. I want to take some of that. All right. A good idea if I turn this thing off. I don't need it anymore. Double check this so that you don't have any more garlic in it. Looks pretty good. I'll just put a little bit in here. Make sure it's right. Do have a fork. Growing up, I was, I was told to eat... Uh, Spaghetti with a, a spoon and a fork. It seems that in uh, Italy they weren't told the same thing. Well, they might have been, but they don't do that. They just w use a, a fork and they twirl it a bit. So I'm, I'm twirling a little bit here, doing it that way. So what I'll do is bite it. Seems good. Oh. Well, that's one of the dishes in, in Rome. Um, I don't know where the carbonara came from, um, who invented it, it tastes very well. And I do have um, some wine here, uh, as they say in Italian, salute to Pichy and Don. And if you like what you see, uh, subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, all right? Hey, and again, thanks for watching.